Go further, let's take a look at modulus of complex number. Modulus and arguments. As well, we are given a general complex number Z plus B I, then the modulus, let's see, modulus here, is given as, whenever we see this is a modulus, and this modulus is expressed as real number square plus imaginary number square, not the result of a mod the modulus of a complex number result to real number and also the argument the argument is theta which is equals to tan inverse of b over a this theta is what we call the argument while this one is the modulus now example find the argument and modulus of z equal to 3 plus 4 i. So now let's start with the argument. The argument which I said is theta is equal to tan inverse of b over a. Confirming this one by the general, the real number is b is a, while the imaginary number is b. So we are going to have tan inverse of 4 over 3. So the tan inverse is going to give 53.1 degree. So this 53.1 degree is the argument of this complex number. Now the modulus. Let me just use this plus to find the modulus. The modulus is z bar, which is equal to root of a, and our a here is 3, square plus b, 4 square. This is equal to root of 3 square is 9, plus 4 square is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, and root of 25 is 5. So this implies the argument is 53.1 while the modulus is 5. So, um, having known how to find the modulus and argument, now let's see how to express a complex number in polar form. There's something we call expressing complex number in polar form. So now we are going to see it. So, the polar form of a given complex number z, which is equal to this. Let me say it just, forget the form, let me just write the expression. The polar form is given as r into cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay. Um, this R here, R is the what? Modulus. It's also known as modulus of a complex number, while theta is the argument. So now, if we are to express 3 plus 4i in polar form, To express a number in polar form, what's needed, let me say this is an example, what needed is r and theta, that is our argument. Now, we should find our r. r is equal to root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is equal to root of um, 9 plus 16, which is equal to root of 25, which is equal to 5. And also our theta, which is equal to tan inverse 
of B. Our B is 4 over 3. And this is the same thing as 53.1 degree. So how many the theta and R? Just say that Z is now equal to R, which is 5, into cos 53.1 theta plus I sine 53.1 theta. So we leave the answer like this. So this is the expression of this complex number in polar form.